Hey guys, it's Zach here, and it's like 12.30 or so, um, Monday night, and um, I'm working on a project I actually started on uh, Sunday, and it's such a time-consuming project, I really don't have much time to do it other than in the late of night when everyone else is sleeping. So, in the garage where I should be cleaning it, but I'm not, got a small rig set up just because we had it set up Sunday when we had some guests over, or Saturday when we had guests over, whatever day it was, I don't remember. Got a citronella candle going to keep the bugs out. And you can see, that's what I've been working on. See, this is what the truss used to look like after Rockfest. I um, had to wash all the dirt and grime off of the global trussing, and I'm like, man, this just doesn't look as nice as it once did. So, I decided to polish it. Now, I wanna put some things out there before a bunch of you guys start deciding that polishing global truss is a good idea. When this stuff gets shipped to you, there's a protective coating on it to kind of keep it from tarnishing and, you know, it, it's not going to rust necessarily, but aluminum does tarnish. So after um, even just a few months of me using it, the coating is pretty much gone and it's already starting to just kind of get blah. With me polishing it, it removes any of the coating that was on there. So if you get fresh truss and polish it right away, that coating's gone instantly. So you're gonna have to keep it up. You're gonna have to kind of periodically go through and make sure you're um, constantly um, polishing the truss, I guess. But I figure, my reckoning is, since I'm pretty much gonna use this stuff for weddings, for the most part, vertical totems, and I don't plan on buying any of those white uh, global truss skirts for the truss. Why not polish it, give it that extra pop. The uh, uplighting should shine even more bri brilliantly through it. It'll look nicer sitting there um, than that does. So I still got those two short pieces to do. I gotta get, uh, touch up a couple spots on this one yet. But um, it is very time consuming. I don't have the greatest wrists as it is anyways. I kind of have like a carpal tunnel thing going on and whatever else. So it's kind of, I'm doing this all by hand. My wrist is really sore, but the end result is nice. I don't need this stuff until this weekend. I'm doing another live gig. Real simple setup, real simple setup for actually a buddy of mine's birthday, his actually a buddy of mine's girlfriend's birthday party. So um, I'm doing a live show, the Deeks are playing there. They only play up until 11 o'clock, so basically I'm doing two totems. Easy setup, easy tear down. We're gonna use all the band lighting that they have. I'm not gonna use any of my LED stuff for wash lighting. Nothing like Rockfest, but I wanted to bring some out a little bit extra, and I figure, why not polish, get them polished up before now. Another thing is, if you're gonna do this, once you start it, there's really, uh, you reach the point of return instantly, because if you do one stick, you gotta do the rest, because they're gonna look so much different. And if you do a part of a stick, well, it's gonna really stand out on a, on a, non -tar on a tarnished up stick. Let me give you an example. There we are. All right guys, this is all the white stuff that I'm using. This is a shop cloth. I'm just gonna do this piece here, all right? A very quick job on this too. You just basically work this stuff in until you see that black junk coming in. That's what's digging into our metal. Now we go over here, get our cleaner cloth, knee down on this baby. Now this is very quickly done, normally I use two hands for this, don't hold in the camera. But you can tell a little bit of a difference right there, actually quite a bit of a difference. So. That's, soon that whole piece and the piece next to it are gonna look like these, so. It looks really nice, it gives you that extra pop. Definitely a nicer, more elegant look for the wedding thing. If you guys are mainly flying your truss for school stuff and everything else, and you don't need that extra elegance, I don't suggest you spend the time on it because seriously, there's about two hours or more of work in these two sticks right now. So, I mean, it's up to you, however, I plan on getting um, more trussing just for flying truss. Um, some triangle truss. Uh, Irradiant actually has some good deals going on. They're trussing. 
and it is very similar to Global Trust. Actually, it's so similar that it'll it'll interchange with Global Trusting. So I'm, I'm gonna get some irradiant sticks and um, that's gonna be the stuff I use to fly because basically my stands can only hold, you know, 450 pounds or so in a span right now. So the Triangle Trust will be it will hold plenty of weight. Uh, it'll hold more weight than the stands can hold anyway. So, and anyway, before I ramble on anymore, guys, I'm gonna get back to work. Let me know what you think. Um, hopefully this video makes sense. <laughs> I'm kind of rambling on, it's late at night. Got the acoustic stuff going, so. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Practice and enjoy. We'll see you later.